discovering new things about other planets in the solar system and, and advancing science is one outcome of, of the job we do. The other part, of course, is all the technologies we develop for these rovers and the use of those technologies down here on Earth. For example, all the automation, all the uh, intelligence we build for these rovers can be used and, and deployed uh, in other things down here, for example, cars. In the near future, we might see cars which drive themselves and you can just uh, get in your own car and uh, maybe read the newspaper or a good book while the car drives you to, to work or to the cinema. Here at Raw Space, we develop uh, uh, robots uh, which we can use in terrestrial environments to test software and important instruments for space rovers. So our future aim is to actually send robots to other planets, uh, moons of planets, asteroids and other objects in uh, the solar system to explore and potentially bring samples back. One of the key difficulties with uh, exploring other bodies in the solar system is communication. We use radio waves uh, to communicate to rovers on other planets. We have a large network of uh, very large uh, dishes around uh, Earth which point out towards space and can talk to satellites and rovers. Many times uh, we can talk to the rover directly, uh, even when it's on, on the surface of Mars, we can talk to it directly and get data back. But sometimes, because Earth is rotating and Mars is rotating and there might be the Sun in between, we don't have direct link to, to the rover. And in that case, the robot needs to upload the data to another satellite orbiting Mars and then later on that satellite will relay the information back to Earth, which adds more delay to the communication, but still makes it at least possible when the rover is not visible. And you don't want the rover just to sit there, uh, you want the rover to still keep doing its tasks while you can't actually talk to it. And that's why we need to uh, develop much uh, smarter, much more intelligent rovers which can uh, uh, act by themselves, actually continue on with the task, uh, explore, uh, gather science, even when they are not supervised uh, by the, the humans on the ground. The reason why we are uh, going to these planets uh, is because even though we send probes around the solar system, the detail on the ground is, is still um, uh, relatively unknown. Uh, we have only landed on, on few bodies and the next step is really to return samples from uh, other places, for example Mars and, and places which could potentially harbor life to analyze them with better equipment down here on Earth. Eventually we will need to send humans out uh, into the solar system, actually land on other planets, uh, form habitats, uh, and uh, allow these people to, to live there for extended periods of time. We need to learn uh, how these planets behave uh, in order to, to be able to do that safely.